porotracheal intubation one of the commonest procedure uh, performing in emergency department the most common error happening in emergency department is that uh, wrong position so the correct position of uh, endotracheal intubation is the patient should be in the head end and the patient should be the patient head is, is our at the level of cp sternum and then like uh, it should be like uh, there are three axes in the airway one is the oral axis there is a, a laryngeal axis and pharyngeal axis or idea is like while intubating these three axes should be aligned for uh, for this alignment first we want to keep it a pillow under the pillow under the neck while keeping the pillow under the neck the oral axis is aligned with the uh, with the laryngeal axis then do you do a head tilt while doing head tilt the pharyngeal laryngeal axis also align so this maneuver all the three axes align you will get a better <coughs> visualization of occult code then do the process of intubation the patient should be unresponsive or if it is a patient with the reflexes you should give adequate sedation or paralytic agents then like remember like always while intubating always hold your laryngoscope with the left hand never with the right hand so far like even for a left hand patient we have only the available laryngoscope so like the left hand laryngoscope is available so again always try to hold on the on the handle only uh, handle only most of the people will hold like this this is a wrong technique so you should be always hold like this then like keep your right hand and the heel of the palm over the over the uh, over the forehead and then uh, you can use these two fingers with with this uh, with this you can do the head tilt and you can keep it like this and then with this two finger with your index finger and thumb you can open the airway like this and once this is open or you can do a crispos crisp maneuver is also okay but this is the best one then uh, then like after holding like this then insert insert the laryngoscope blade through the right side of the tongue not the left side to the right side of the tongue while inserting the right side of the tongue the tongue will automatically shift it to the left side and then uh, b- gradually bringing the laryngoscope blade into the midline and advance till you see the uh, tip of the epiglottis once see the tip of the op- epiglottis is further advance uh, to the glosso epiglottis junction and then elevate or the, you, you just just like <coughs> don't do like this kind of pressure <coughs> just lift the uh, like lower jaw in the uh, in the laryngoscope and many people will do like the levering movement if you are do the levering movement it will injure the teeth then like you get that Laryngo, uh, endotracheal tube hold the endotracheal tube here don't hold like this if you are holding like this is a wrong technique because this part will go to the uh, <coughs> larynx and this will go, it will go contaminate so you should always hold like this and then insert the insert the endotracheal tube through the uh, to the ang- through the angle of the mouth many people will introduce like this through the through the to the channel of the laryngoscope that is a wrong technique because it will obscure you but basically you want to do the right side of the tongue and then advance and then you introduce into the larynx gently now the intubation is over once intubated larynx lar- laryngoscope is removed and then hold hold the endotracheal tube and the lip like this and note the lip marking and then you fix